Good morning, leaving Tokyo today on the way to Kyoto, probably my favorite city in all of Japan. Just the most beautiful. And heading to the Shinkansen, by the way, just past this tree. Persimmons! Just like on the side of the road, like just wasted. This breaks my heart right here. All right, let's go. And before I get on the train, this is a must do. Gotta get some bento. My recommendation for bento boxes is basically anything with Wagyu. It's gonna be fantastic. Anything that's too pretty, not gonna be that good. Yeah, this, this looks good. I remember getting all this seafood stuff. It was just okay. Um, not nearly as good as the beef ones. I have hopes of this one. There's a fish one here that looks pretty interesting. Real fish. This one. This one looks really good. I might have to trade in my beef for this one. This 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 looks like the ultimate beef meal. This looks pretty amazing. Just got four. Riding to Kyoto on the Shinkansen and eating bento at the same time while it's raining. I couldn't be happier right now. What I love about this country, snacks everywhere. Cleaning ladies are amazing. They go in there and they clean everything in like a matter of minutes. Like every single thing. And they wipe down all the tables, like everything. Home sweet home for the next few hours. I'm so hungry right now. I need to eat real soon. I love the Shinkansen Pinto experience. That's, that's my chair pass, that's not edible. <laughs> I just realized something about one of my bento. This is so amazing. I've never had something like this before. Check this out. This beef bento box has a string. And when you pull on the string, it streams the entire bento box. So this is a automatically steamed beef bento. This is gonna be so exciting. I needed some serving turf, so I got a fish bento as well. I got a another beef bento because you need more than one for sure and this is more of an impulse buy this was like right by the cashier and it looked good so unpacking the bento itself is it's such an intimate experience for me it's like i'm dressing this perfectly designed box of food ah, give you a little white bath some chicken skewers and what looks like some meatball skewers as well, maybe fish. My first beef bento. This should be good because this guy, he looks like he knows what he's doing. And I can barely read the kanji. It says something about like beef and how it's barbecued over charcoal. Oh man, oh this looks good. Ooh. Thick slices of beef. Oh, I can already see that pretty marbling. The fat throughout the meat, little sesame seeds. A couple of shomai. And a tomato. This is the surf of my turf. <laughs> surf of my turf. This looks really good. It said it won some award in 2016, so hopefully they kept up the quality in the last two years. I just want to say again, this is so much more exhilarating than opening presents. Really, right? You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shinkansen. This is the Hikari Super. They all have this little thin plastic blanket. Once you uncover it, oh my gosh, I got some eel and a couple of other pieces of fish. Sweet lotus root. Oh, the eel. Oh, this is so pretty. This thing is going to heat up on its own and it's just going to be magic. The steam thing is not allowed on airplanes, but trains are okay. This is so cool. Instructions in Japanese. Uh, okay, I have no idea what this is saying. When I unboxed it, okay, chopstick seasoning. So I'm thinking there's the string. You just pull the string, it looks like, and that's it. And the magic happens, apparently. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh. I'm not 100% sure whether I should have pulled the whole thing out or not. Look at 
at this. It's steaming. Can you guys see the steam? Whoa, it is steaming. Oh, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Now I'm eagerly awaiting the eight minutes for this to be ready. This thing is hot. It's my first meal of the day. I can't even. Five more minutes to go. Longest five minutes of my life. See you in five minutes. Guys. Time's up. All the anticipation. If this turns out to be a colossal disappointment, I might just cry. Oh. Okay, this is not the prettiest thing. This lack of a lack of a better word and knock on wood looks like a train wreck. And we can't even take a picture of this. Okay, I'm gonna try to reconstruct it to what it should look like, maybe like like that, and maybe like a little bit like this. All right, they, they really did not give me much beef. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six slices of beef. Little, you know, carrot thing that's really just for space. And then a little ground beef. Um, and I guess underneath is where the magic happens is it's a little pad that heats up steam. Ah, this is just very... Okay, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it tastes good. The beef looks looks pretty dry, honestly. Like, look at this. Look at this. This looks pretty amazing. You can see the fat just rivering across the slab of beef. Look at this. You can see the marbling. It is just a beautiful piece of beef. And then, then this guy here with his fancy steam pocket. Look at this. I mean, it still might be good, but come on. This versus that. Not really a competition here, right? But this is what I hate about the bento I had last time. Look at this, this little, it's like a thin ice layer of beef. I mean, if you went skinny on this in the winter, you'll fall through. Some of you guys think like when I eat something that's yummy, my face like makes it seem like it tastes really bad. Well, this time it's just bad, okay? That's, it's hot, I'll give it that. Thank you for heating this mento up. I'm pretty sure this is leather. Yeah, this, you could use this as a jacket, for sure. It's flavorful, I mean, I like the ground meat much better because at least that's borderline chewable. This, you, this you, you cannot chew. This is for you to wear. The rice tastes like it just came out of the cooker. But God, that beef is horrible. Oh, I hope this is good. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, that chicken is so flavorful. The fish ball. This is yummy. This is really yummy. I think it's a pork ball. Oh, that is really yummy. Do you have high hopes for fish? It's really good. Mm -hmm. Eel is magnificent. Why couldn't... That, that thing come in a steam box would make that all nice and hot. You are a waste of a steam box, man. This was a great selection. A great selection. I'm, I'll put money on this being amazing. Oh. Mm. oh my god. Seriously, this is so amazing. Get this mental box. 10 out of 10 stars. 20 out of 10 stars. Oh, you need this. Trust me, you need this. Oh my God. It is so amazingly melty and juicy. The beef has, right away, huge smoky flavor. Such great quality. I can't believe I'm eating a dental box right now. I cannot believe it. It's, it's that good. I'm being mind blown right now by this. And this guy, I trust from now on. Get this and get that. Surf and turf. I feel like this little thing is soy sauce stuff. That's more of a throwaway item, but oh man, that's bad. <laughs> but with the beef, I still worth it. So 
Battle of El Kyoto. Shrines everywhere. There we go. This is the house I'll be staying in. Oh wow, look at this. This is the entrance. Slippers, of course. What? Oh my gosh. Look at this traditional sitting area. A little TV. <laughs> little garden. Chinese dryer. Oh, bathroom is here. Okay, a bunch of towels, shower. I love the Japanese shower room because uh, not only do you get a tub, it's a huge amount of space and water can just splash anywhere here as well. Okay, well, oh, this is like a, this is like a hidden kitchen. Look at this. Washer. Oh, check it out. It looks like there's a little heater down there too. Let's go see what's upstairs. This is one of the bedrooms here. Second bedroom over here. Oh, no view. Such a pretty apartment. I like this seat. All right, I'm gonna take a nap and then uh, more food later. So thanks guys so much for watching. See you. This is so pretty. Oh, thank you. Uh, long gyoza. So amazing, just like going down these little alleyways, tons of restaurants, bars, things to eat. I mean, a lot of shady stuff as well, so maybe watch out, but just this whole vibe. It's just historic, it's modern, it's traditional, it's vibrant, all at the same time. Like I mentioned last time, walking down these historical streets, I almost half expect a ninja to pop out of nowhere. And they might. Well, that was a fun day exploring Kyoto. Good to be back. Got some good dumplings. Tomorrow, bright and early, going to get some noodles on a water slide.